everyone, it's Micah here. I'm doing a review on the card game I Dark Overlord. It's a uh, role playing game with storytelling elements. Um, basically, uh, one player is uh, the Dark Overlord, who is like um, basically a game master. He um, um, the 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 point of the story is he is pissed with his goblin servants, which are the other players, and they um, he's trying to find them to blame. So. The Dark Overlord basically makes up the story of what's going on, so you can just make one off the top of your head and you say, um, well, minions, you're going to steal the Golden Chariot to, um, of indestructible power, but you didn't, and I see that you're in front of me right now. What is your excuse this time? Um, or if you're not very creative like I am, as you can see, um, you can draw some cards from the top and make a story out of them, so... So like what we got here, um, this one's the Tiny Guardian, this one is Dream Grass, like marijuana, and this one is uh, the Dole Goblin, so you could say something like, um, um, uh, you need to find the Tiny, Tiny Guardian who had the Dream Grass, um, and get some for me, because... I like to smoke marijuana. Why didn't you? So, um, um, and why didn't you? And then once you do that, you accuse someone else and you say, hey, but Frank, um, what's your story behind it all? And so then Frank, um, takes his turn. So I'm going to zoom down and show you how, uh, um, how Frank would respond. So, okay, so first off, um, these are the cards in the game. Uh, you've got... Um, the hint cards, a lot of hint cards, uh, action cards, and then the Dark Overlord um, gets these um, special cards called Withering Look cards. So how it goes is there's three Withering Looks. You have a level one, level two, and then a level three. So how it goes is once someone gets um, up to three, um, oh, whoops, one, two, three. Once a player gets three of the Withering Look cards in order, uh, they lose the game. So, and the game ends, uh, Dark Overlord has punished someone. So, um, but on someone's turn, uh, they use, um, the hint cards and the, um, action cards, uh, to make up uh, their story, so they basically lie to the Dark Overlord, so, um, basically, um, what you have to do is you have to play at least two of your three, um, uh, hint cards, um, on your turn, so, um, so what that player would have drawn, he would have drawn Death, um, the Magic Staff, and the Marsh. So he has to make up a story with at least one of them. So, so he would say something like, um, I was trying to find um, the golden chariot, but um, I fell in a marsh. So, this is the marsh card. And I couldn't get out. And so once you play, once you play a card in this game, then you accuse someone with something else. So how it basically goes is um, you want to play a card with the arrow. That's the accusing um, accusing side of a card, and then the other card is called the freeze, so I'll get to the freeze in a little bit, so, you want to play a card with an arrow, you want to play that with another card, so, you could say, but Jim, um, was talking to death, and you know death is bad, I mean, I mean, yeah, we're, we try to be the best in the land, but you know death is obviously the ruler. Um, you know talk, someone talking about death is bad, you know? And so then you would pass pass it off to the other player, and then they would take their turn. So basically, that's pretty much the gist of the game, so it's a pretty fun one. There's some crazy stories that come out of uh, out of this game, so there's some crazy stuff, and you're like, what the crap am I going to do with this, you know? So, um, 
There is also a variant to the to the rules if you want to play a, bit, a little bit more competitively. Um, as you can see here, there's um, additional icons on the cards, um, which you'd play with. So the Dark Overlord would accuse someone playing an icon, and then what you would have to do as a servant is match them with the same icon. So, and also in that game type, um, uh, you play for points, so each card that you play down um, is a point, and then at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. So that's um, a more rules-based game. This game is very very lenient when it comes to rules. So, um, it's a really fun game. So, Dark Overlord. Check it out. Thanks, guys.